What's up you guys, it's your boy David Max. Before we get started with today's video, just wanted to say big shout out and thanks to Ariat for sponsoring this video. So guys, my friends at Area, stay hooking your boy with some nice t-shirts as always. As you can tell, I do have this black tee with the Area logo in front. It's like a bronze color slash tan. And then in the back, super cool design they got going on. It's like a like eagles with like the cactus. Nice little desert background going on. Really cool. Honestly, guys, you guys already know I love their t-shirts. Super soft. And uh, make sure you guys take advantage. Link down below, you do get 10% off if you use my link on your first purchase. So take advantage. And other than that, let's get started with today's video. What is up, Wood Games? Your boy David Matt, guys. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today it is actually 9 a.m. in the morning. Just woke up. Running late to work, guys. Um, but I did want to do a little vlog. Uh, as you can tell the thumbnail and title, guys, we are gonna be getting some new tires and rims for my truck. Um if you guys didn't know, this is how I got my truck from the dealer. It's a 2018 Dodge 2500 Longhorn. I honestly love the truck. I just, the only thing that I didn't really like was the rims and tires that it came with. Plus, they were kind of bald. The front ones weren't bald when I got them, guys. But look at my back tires, guys. They were, like, legit, almost, like, completely bald. So, how to get tires sooner or later. But, you know what? Let's just go because I'm running late right now. So, guys. If you guys follow me on Instagram, guys, the other day I was actually on my way to work and my back right tire ended up popping and low-key almost lost control and crashed. So that was pretty scary, but uh, the back right tire gave me like a little sensor saying, pretty much saying it was, it was low. And I was like, okay, no big deal. I'll get to work and I'll put air in it, right? I don't know where my tire just pops and I, I lose control a little bit from the back because I was going like 70 or 80 and then, um, I managed to kind of save it, but I pulled over and my tire was legit like done. Like it blew up. I was in the middle of the of the center divider and it was it was pretty sketchy too because it was like semis passing me like super close and it was just not a safe area to be at. So I was like, okay, what should I do? Should I just get like you know one new tire? Should I get like one used tire? Because honestly, I didn't want to spend money. Not because I want to be cheap, but I just did. I I don't feel like spending a lot of money right now on a set of tires and rims. But I was like, okay, if I buy a new tire for just the right, the, the back right one, it's gonna look dumb. If I get a used one, it's gonna look even more stupid. So I was like, you know what, David, stop being cheap and just get yourself, you know, four new tires. But then when I when I thought about it too, I'm like, man, like, okay, I don't really like my rims. I think it's just time to get a new set of rims and tires. So that ended up happening, guys. Um, I did set up an appointment uh, like two weeks ago and my rims got here today. I had to wait two weeks. I haven't been driving my truck for two weeks and I, I miss my truck so much. Like, even though it's been at my house parked, I haven't been in it. I haven't like, I've been getting rides for two weeks my girlfriend has been picking me up i've been going to work with my mom with my dad and my brothers and it's just if you guys own a truck you guys know what i'm talking about like you, you're gonna miss your own your own ride you feel me so so guys i forgot to mention the day i popped my tire that spare on the back right has not came off like i still have the spare tire on so i have to cruise it i forgot to show you guys but when i get to the shop to drop off the truck i'll show you guys what i'm driving right now on the back right because it is embarrassing. It's all, you know, it's a spare tire. So I was like, I have these bigger tires in front and then it has these like skinny spare tire in the back. It looks retarded. But anyways, I'll show you guys right now. Yeah, so I came to the gas station real quick to pump gas. Look at my truck, look how freaking nice it looks. But anyways, look at the back right tire, guys. I have a spare. Look how retarded it looks. Oh God. Oh God, let's put gas so we can get out of here. This is embarrassing. And yes, I meant to say diesel, guys, all right? I meant to say diesel. I'm still getting used to, you know, driving a diesel around. I'm still a new diesel owner. I mean, when you think about it, I've only had it for like, what, four, three months now? So, you time, guys, me time. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, the only thing I hate about driving a diesel is that the freaking diesel pumps are always dirty, like nasty, like gross. Obviously, when you think about it, like all the construction workers come like super early in the morning and they, they use a lot of diesel, right? So they're always like filthy and like, Ugh. I don't hell no, bro. Gotta put some hand sanitizer. Right here is called Gomez uh, Custom Tires and Wheels right here in Fontana, California. If you guys are thinking about getting any type of, you know, tires and wheels, make sure you guys hit them up because I don't honestly give people shout outs, but this place had really good customer service. They don't just try to take your money, you know? Really cool people. Make sure you guys hit up Junior. 
Tell him David sent you from Puro Bailando. Hopefully he remembers me. <laughs> uh, so let's just park my truck. Oh look, you see that truck is about to get something. Let me park right here. Hold up before I crash. See guys, this this uh this Chevy right here got like a huge lift kit. I don't know what type of tire he's gonna put on, but it looks pretty nice. That's that's freaking high. That's like a freaking six seven inch lift kit right there. That's dope. Now I'm just waiting for Giselle to get here. I already dropped off my truck, guys. Went inside, gave him the keys. He's gonna hit me back up like in four or five hours to come pick it up. Look at Mamalona parked right there. Damn, look at all the trucks here, dude. Sick. Look at that one. GMC. Dandelion. Got a cannon over there. So guys, it is the next day. I had to wait because honestly, I was like, man, should I film this video right now? You know, I'm already going back to work and then it's getting dark. I was like, you know what? Let me wait till the next day. You know, clean it up a little bit because it was dirty. So I did a wash my truck. And uh, now it's time to show you guys exactly what I got. Look how wide it looks, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's get right into it. Uh, starting off with the tires, guys, I ended up going with, uh, they're called Amp Tires, the um, the mud terrains. I went with uh, 35, so 35 by 13 and a half. I did want to go with a 14 and a half tire, so pretty much it wasn't to have more of a, of a of, you know, like meat, more tire. But I was like, you know what? I've never tried the, the 13 and a half, but honestly, I, I really like the look. We're gonna see how long they last. If they don't last a long time, I'll probably go with 14 and a half for the, for the second um, set. Uh, set. So, yeah guys, amp tires, 35s by 13 and a half. What kind of wheels are those? Uh? <laughs> as far as the wheels guys, I went with this company called Archon. First time trying these. I did want to go with the gloss look because I've always gotten gloss with my uh, with my uh, wheels. So, I did forget the name of the design, but make sure you guys check them out on Instagram. They're called Archons. I'm pretty sure they'll pop up and you'll recognize the, the design, but they're really? big boy. Oh, Oh my god, they scratched my rim. Guys, so I took my truck to a car wash. Big boy. Damn. Damn. Whatever. Brand it is what new it is. wheel. It is what it is. It's probably like a rock or something too. Huh? I don't know, boy. But Anyways. They, but they're thick, boy. Oh, they're thick. And and what they, size are they, though? Huh? What size are they, though? The, oh, yeah. As far, I forgot about that, huh? So the wheels are 24s by 14s, guys. So I went 14 wide. If you guys don't remember my last truck, the single cab Dodge, I had 20, 20, 22s, 20s. 20 by 10s. I had 20, no, but, oh, 20 yeah, by 10s. Guys, I had 20 by 10s. So think about it. Now I have 24 by 14, so they stick out wide. And guys, call me crazy. But I think I'm gonna go a little wider, very honestly. Spacers. So, I'm gonna get spacers, two inch spacers. I don't know, I just, I've always liked, you know, that, that wide look. So I do wanna go a little wider and uh, hopefully it looks pretty cool. Now, as far as the lift guys, I did lift it as well. Um, it was on, the guy told me it was on like a three inch leveling kit. So I ended up going with, it's called, it's called a, a ready lift, four and a half. And honestly, I feel like it sits perfect. Watch, kind of back up a little bit and show them from like a distance. I feel like the truck sits perfect. So it's not too much of a gap either. I feel like sometimes they go too high and there's like a huge gap. I feel like it's perfect right now. So take a look at it. Stand next to it. All right, look. Damn. Guys, low key, like this truck makes me look short now. Well, the truck is big in general, but I feel like it was lower back then, you know? But four and a half, uh, inch lift kit ready lift kit like i said on 35 tires with 24 by 14. So what kind of shocks are those though <laughs> i was just gonna get into that right now so guys as far as the shocks i have the stock ones from the factory and i think they're ugly as hell like i don't i don't like them at all because look at them they're blue and yellow like that's nasty and they're a little dirty too and they're a little dirty too honestly i feel like when people pull up next to your truck that's the first thing like i look at 
or like they see pops up yeah that pops up so i'm gonna change those out i think i'm gonna order some new ones tonight i'm going with some fox ones they're called like fox 2.0 or something like yeah. that i don't know with the reservoirs with the reservoirs on the side so as you can tell right here this is the spacer four and a half and then like the, uh, the shock i'm gonna change that out as well and then guys um i feel like the back would have been a little shorter but i do have bags my truck came with bags so the guy said that they had a uh add like a little spacer to put underneath the bag so think about it if i would have never had that that bag it would have been sitting like right here no, but it was like that i mean it still looks nice though, when though. you load it up it's gonna, yeah. it's gonna even out but honestly i wanted to keep the bags because in the future i am gonna get a toy hauler later on you know for to camp you know for camping and whatnot put my toy uh put my can am in there so what you got to pull back there though? I, did, <laughs> I got this little aluminum uh hitch that i got from yeah. amazon but it's not done yet and guys I almost forgot if you guys didn't notice i did take off the steps um just because i feel like it makes the truck look a little more higher how do you get in now though you want to see you really how do you wanna get see? in yeah i want to see how you little short ass guys, <laughs> guys low-key like to get on it is kind of embarrassing watch so i go like this i put my leg up here first like <laughs> you're gonna like the little midget at the gas station <laughs> and guys getting out is even more embarrassing because i kind of like I have to fall, look at it. Say, say, I get up. <laughs> so, I don't know if it looks too... You need the electric ones. Yeah. So, the plan is to get some amp steps. They're called amp steps, right? Yeah, amp steps. Yeah, amp steps. So, basically, when you open the door, they, they pop out right, right away. So, they're kind of hidden. They tuck in. So, you can't see them. And then, when you open the door, they pop out, which is pretty cool. So, next thing I'm going to do, um, first, is shocks uh, and then spacers. Once I get those two things... I'm gonna end up color matching it. I don't know if I told you guys, but I do want to color match the, the, the so all the chrome's gonna be gone. If anything, the only chrome that I'm gonna keep are the emblems. So like these two, I might keep. Uh, you know, this is gonna be gray. Everything gray, charcoal gray. Everything that's chrome, the whole grill, and it's gonna look way better. As far as the headlights, I don't know if I should keep them or just replace the bulbs because I like LEDs. But I was looking at some LED, uh, some headlights that I found and they're uh, they're pretty cool so we'll see but like I said guys it is going to be looking a little more wide in a few days and then the shots are going to be gone so I think that's it bro guys let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section again make sure you guys subscribe smash that like button and I will see you guys on the next video guys peace out